Now, CT lung uh, screening is very, very important. If you took all the cancer presentations tonight compared to lung cancer, lung cancer has more deaths than all the other, present all the other specialties you'll see. Hence, the very, very importance of having CT lung screening. Okay, who's at risk for uh, uh, lung cancer? One, if you have more than 20 pack year history of smoking, that's the number of packs a day times the number of years. If that product is more than 20, you're a candidate or at higher risk. So if you smoke three packs a day for six years, you're already more than three quarters of the way there because you've already got 18 pack year history of smoking. If you're over 50 years of age, okay, you're at risk. Um, if you've been expo repeated exposure to certain chemicals, okay, the most common ones that you'll see will be your um, asbestos and or radon. Um, we don't have any basements here in California that live in. Most people who lived in the Midwest or lived in the basement, radon is a radioactive material that percolates out of the ground, stays low. So if you live in a basement for most of your life or growing up, you're at risk for developing lung cancer. And then if you have a family history of lung cancer, and the reason for that basically is one, you could potentially carry the gene for lung cancer, or number two, you could potentially have a problem of the secondhand smoke that your parents had, and that's why they got the lung cancer. Okay, um, this slide is very self-explanatory, and that's how I opened up the talk. You know, lung cancer is the most lethal cancer in the world, and it crosses all populations. You don't have to smoke to get lung cancer, and the only way that you can actually reverse some of the situation, decrease your morbidity and mortality, is by early detection, and hence our early lung screening. And if you can see that CT imaging, and especially the spiral CT imaging, which we'll discuss <laughs> shortly, is very, very important lung imaging, or lung screening, is that you can pick up these lesions sooner, treat them sooner, and since the diagnosis is made earlier, and I'll show that in the slide at the end of the case, your survival rate is obviously going to be a lot better. Now, spiral CT imaging. Okay, St. Joseph's Hospital, we're blessed to have the facilities here and the ability of our great radiologists to offer this screening uh, modality so that patients who do qualify obviously can be taken and evaluated early. You can identify nodules that are very small and the size of one to two millimeters, which is about the size of a grain of rice. And as I mentioned earlier, the smaller the, and the earlier you pick up the lesion, the better off you are in the long run. And what the procedure is, is the screening. You go in, you have the screening. Our radiologist, like Dr. Weisberg, will read the films. He'll make the recommendations of yay or nay or this looks suspicious. Then you're referred to and followed by nurse coordinator. Pam in particular, and then you're followed up and you will get a letter to tell you, you know, this is what we found, these are our recommendations, and if you have a positive finding, then depending on the size and what the recommendations or what the radiologists perceive as being at very, very suspicious, then you'll be referred back to your primary care physician who starts you on the path to be further worked up. And because of our lung cancer screening program, we've been nationally uh, recognized for having one of the best practice models for our CT scanning approach early diagnosis of cancer.